Oh, well, your tattoo's in it anyway, so you'll be fine. Oh, so no one knows what it is. That's okay. No one's going to be watching that knows you. Um, so we're going to do some deep venom therapy. That was like an old stinger in there, but I don't think it is. Um, we're going to do... You already hit record? Okay. Um, we're going to do a few on the spine, a few on the legs, I think, and then a few on the arms. Or would you prefer just to do spine and arms? Mm, yeah, because my arms are pretty sore. Okay, so we're going to start low on the spine, on the sacrum. And we're going to do a couple here. So there'll be two. Then we're going to do... We're going to go... We're going to go... Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We're going to go up here. So I'm just pushing on the skin to find the sore spots. And that's a good way to start with... Um, venom therapy so there's meridian lines that run through and you can familiarize yourself with that but you can also just push on the skin to find the sore spots and that's a good place to sting so we're gonna do let's see so that's two four six and we'll do two more we're gonna go kind of high up on the neck I was actually just watching how some people sting on the head itself so we're gonna kind of work our way up and we might do some stinging on a future sting actually in on the on the scalp. Have you done that yet, Mom? Mm -mm. I don't think you have, yeah. Okay, so we'll get this nice and cold, we'll get this nice and cold. And this one's probably ready. You usually need just like about um about a minute. And then we've got the bees ready to rock. And all the bees are actually um, kind of all set up. Here I'll show you. Doop. The bees are already all set up there um, and I recommend um, doing that ahead of time to save time because when you want to sting you just want to get it over with so does the lowest one feel okay ma'am? Mm -hmm. probably okay so we're going to go right on the spot where the um, where the cold is and a lot of times it'll look red but sometimes it won't so make sure that you actually get it right on the spot and then we're just going to cover that back and we're going to leave that on there for like between 5 and 15 minutes. Really, I guess most of the venom comes out in the first couple of minutes, but I always leave them in just to make sure because the, the sac actually continues to pump venom into the skin. And, and if you got close, you'd actually see. Most of the time you can actually see them still pumping, but actually I don't see those pumping too much. Sometimes they actually like look like they're throbbing and pumping venom in. Here, we'll see if we can get a good shot of one. Uh, so, does this low one feel cold enough, Ma? Yeah, probably. Okay, I'm gonna just give it a little extra push. A little pressure doesn't hurt. You wanna get close to the spine also. Um, closer to the spine, the better. So we're just gonna go, you can see where this is kind of red. That's real easy. There we go. So we'll let go real nice and easy. And then we're kind of right on this side too, so we know we're in the right spot. We're gonna let it go right there. And then these two, I'm just gonna kind of hold. And the spine is a good place to sting for the whole body because it's really the the basis of the entire nervous system. So it's gonna help to deliver healing to the whole body. Um, but if you have a specific spot that's problematic, which right now my mom is having a lot of problems with her hands and her shoulders specifically, I would go right in there and pressure, you know, press around and find the sore spots, and those are the spots that you want to sting. So we'll do this one right here. Boink. And sometimes if they don't want to let go, you can just tap their little booty, give them a little tap, and they'll let go. We'll see if one of them will. Give us a hard time. None of them are giving me a hard time though, so they're just going right in nice and easy. There we go. And do you feel like this one's cold enough, Mom? Or probably. probably. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Just gonna give it a little extra chill there. You don't have to ice, but once you start doing bigger stings, you really kind of almost need to because it lessens the pain quite a bit. There we go. 
very good. And you might be able to see from that vantage point how it's kind of pumping and moving and that's pumping venom into the skin. The venom is a cocktail of so many nutrients and hormones. Um, it's amazing and that's part of the reason why it delivers so much healing but right now her immune system is having a reaction saying hey 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 there's foreign bodies in there and it sends blood and nutrients to the area and that's what heals it's blood and nutrients and oxygen and all that good stuff mm -hmm. so you're right there mm -hmm. yeah. One more. is this the problematic shoulder right now mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. Just gonna try to get this full, you know, cap of the shoulder, and uh, so this will be two, four, six, eight, to ten, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we'll get this, and then we'll get the other side. Let's see, two, four, six, seven. Hmm. We'll have to do. Uh, we'll just do three on this, four on this side, and three on the other. Okay. So we gotta kind of space them out a little bit. We're running low on bees, <laughs> so normally that would not be an issue. But tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and she's not gonna have any bees until Friday when she normally gets them on Thursday. Okay. And definitely getting a nice immune response on the back of the neck, though. You want there to be redness and swelling, that's a sign that your immune system is working. When we actually, when we first started stinging my mom, many of the stings didn't actually look like we stung her with a bee. There was no immune response. And that's because her immune system wasn't actually working properly because of all the medications that she was on. But now, she gets pretty good immune reactions, which is good. Okay, so let's do this guy. It might be hard to see from that vantage, but we'll get over on the other side here in a second. And let's put this press. Nice big one there. And boop. And awesome. So we'll do now we got final. Oh, one, two, three. Do you want to go down on the forearm? Mm -hmm. Or no, you want to keep it up in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Keep it up in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to go to the other side. Well, this, <gasps> is, ooh, mm. this is the problem shoulder, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do four on this side and three on the other. So let's do... Let's do one. Let me get these cold. And so I'm just going to palpitate mm -hmm. right here. Right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, thanks. Good job. Thanks. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if you can reach that, but if you can, that's great. And so nice to have two people, much easier. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. This is probably an easy sting compared to what you normally do. I know you wanted mm -hmm. to have a big one, I'm sorry. Okay. We can go out and try to catch some bees outside if you want. No, there's just a couple out there. <laughs> I thought about it one day when I was in the garden. I was like, I could just catch that bee and I could just sting myself with it. But it seems kind of weird almost to try to catch mm -hmm. a wild bee. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't yeah, because you don't know what you're catching. Yeah, I know. But it doesn't seem like it would be any different than this. So yeah, I got to give it a little pat on the butt there. He didn't want to let go. Okay. And that's very nice. Does this feel cold enough? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just go... And again, he doesn't really want to let go, so we're just going to give him a little pat on the butt. And he lets go really nicely. And then, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right there. You get good at finding the sore spots after you do this for a while. You can almost see where it just makes sense that it would be sore for someone that has arthritis. Let's see. And we'll let go of this one, Shaughnessy, if you would. Wink. Thank you. And then we'll go in. Doop. That's gonna be a good one. Okay. And then we'll hang on to this one. And and after
after I'm done stinging, I'm going to have you show this part because this looks really good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. good. Uh, he doesn't want to let go, so we're going to give him a little pat, and then there he goes. So then, if you bring this here and show her the back of her neck, see, like, this is what you want to see are these wheels. You can see how everything is turning into these little, almost like donut-shaped stings, and that is exactly what you're looking for. That one's still going. You can definitely see yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Tank. This one's moving like crazy. So the venom will continue to pump, and that's what you want. Just let it sit in there for a while, and I'll let them sit in there for like 15 minutes. Some people will go and get stung, and they'll just put their shirt on and walk out and go home and get in the shower. So you can leave them in there if you want, but... I think it's better to pull them out because then you don't get infected stingers because that does happen. Like down here, we think that there might be actually a stinger stuck in there. So I kind of picked that a little and put some lavender oil on it. These are nice, too. Little wheels. But, yeah, that's it. That's a sting. Bee Venom Therapy. And uh, anyone that watches this, if you want information on it, you can email me at Desiree at ModernHippie.org. And uh, happy stinging. Okay, bye.